Alright, so good day learners. So today we're going to talk about nervous system. So our objective for today, identify the parts and functions of nervous system. So what is nervous system? Nervous system connects body parts and transmits signals from one part to another. Also, it is a system of cells, tissues, organs that regulates the body's responses to internal and external stimuli. And nervous system is one part of the 11 body systems in our body. So this is the nervous system aside from the integumentary, respiratory, endocrine, reproductive, excretory, immune, digestive, and cardiovascular. So we have nervous system. So we have the major division of nervous system. We have central nervous system and we have peripheral nervous system. So under that, the CNS or the central nervous system, we're going to talk about its main components. We have the brain and spinal cord. Under the brain, we have the main parts. We have the cerebrum, cerebellum, and the brain stem. However, on the peripheral nervous system, we have the main divisions. We have the somatic and we have the autonomic. And under the main parts of somatic, we have spinal nerves and cranial nerves. And for autonomic, we have subdivision, we have sympathetic, and we have parasympathetic. Alright, so let's begin with the central nervous system. A central nervous system, or the CNS, serves as the main processing center for the entire nervous system. So I'm going to use this. So we have, this is under the central nervous system. Under the central nervous system, it divided into two. We have the brain. So this is the brain. And a brain is an organ located within the skull that functions as organizer and distributor of information for the body. And under the brain, we have, we have the three main parts of the brain. We have the cerebrum. The first part is what we call cerebrum. Cerebrum is a large located on the upper part of the brain that controls the activity and thought. So meaning on the cerebrum, these are, um, um, this one controls the activity and thought. Ibig sabihin, on how we think and the different activity. We have example, on the frontal lobe, we have the consciousness, speech, and for the parietal lobe, for the reading, speech, visual, and vision, occipital, ito yung likod ng brain natin. Okay, dapat iniingatan kasi it is responsible for the eyes, especially on the eyes or the vision. You have the smell, yan, so on the temporal lobe. The other part is, second to the largest, we have the cerebellum. The cerebellum, located on the under the cerebrum okay so located under the cerebrum and it controls posture balance and coordination meaning body movement all right or the coordination of the different parts of our human body meaning on how you walk your posture and how you stand and the different coordination the other one and the last main part we have the brain stem all right so brain stem also known as the medulla oblongata it connects brain to the spinal cord it controls automatic functions such as the breathing digestion and heart rate and blood pressure meaning this automatic function ito yung hindi ko control ng ating katawan like breathing digestion heart rate and blood pressure so this is what we call the brain stem will be the pons and the medulla so basic vital example is breathing next other main major part of central nervous system is what we call aside from the brain we have the spinal cord 
So its spinal cord serves as a channel of signals between the brain and the rest of the body. It controls simple musculoskeletal reflexes without input of the brain. So when we say control simple musculoskeletal, we have what we call the re reflexes. So when we say reflexes, Alright, so when we say reflexes, ito yung uncontrollable, okay? Meaning, parang hindi na kailangan sabihin ng brain mo na dapat mo siyang gawin. Example, um, pagkisap ng mata, alright, or blinking of an eye. So, meaning, kailangan ba ba natin isipin na, ah, I need to blink my eye. So, so that is what we call the reflex. Ano, parang um, automatic controlled body movement have with the coordination of muscles or muscle control or the muscle brain so that is reflexes and for the spinal cord therefore um, it is very important to take care of the brain and also the spinal cord next we have the peripheral nervous system so again under the central nervous system we have this one Yan, this one, central nervous system, the spinal cord, the cerebellum, and the brain, and the brain. Next, let's go on to the second, alright, the second major system, we have the peripheral nervous system. So, the peripheral nervous system, or the PNS, connects CNS or the central nervous system to the organs and limbs all right so organ meaning um the peripheral nervous system the organ like my heart kidney and the limbs so limbs like our shoulders hands legs and feet all right so we have divided into two we have the autonomic and we have the somatic so let's different this one under the somatic nervous system um, this system is associated with the voluntary control of the body movements meaning this one is a voluntary or the muscle voluntary or muscle movement example um, voluntary of muscles like heart the, um, the other one is lungs the, next we have ah sorry um, voluntary muscle movement meaning our the way we walk the way we write so those are the voluntary meaning kaya mong pigilan yung pag control of our muscle movement while so this somatic nervous system we have two main parts we have the spinal nerves and we have the cranial nerves so under the spinal nerves the nerves carry motor and sensory signals between the spinal cord and the body so this is the spinal cord this is the signal and this is the muscle okay and on the cranial nerves meaning it's located on our cranium or brain the nerve fibers that carry information into and out of the brain stem meaning so we have the spinal nerve and we have the cranial for example this is the cranium or the brain stem so um iisipin halimbawa for example for example um kukunin mo yung gamit so siya yung magdidikta kay ano mo kay muscle mo all right so siya yung Alam mo, pupulutin ka, siya yung magdidikta. So, we have the somatic nervous system. The other one, we have the autonomic nervous system. This system is involuntary control of the body movements. Yan. So, this is what we call, it is like having the involuntary muscle. For example, the lungs, the liver, the heart. For example, on lung, um, lungs. So, pwede ba natin pigilan yung pag-function ng lungs or paghinga? No. So, on the autonomic nervous system, we have 
let's divide into two. We have the two main parts. We have the sympathetic. Sympathetic means activated in a dynamic role or stress. Example, increased heart rate and breathing, deletion of pupil and sweating. So this is under the sympathetic. And the parasympathetic, sympathetic, parasympathetic, we have maintains body functions and restores the body to a normal or relaxed mode. So this one. So on that autonomic nervous system under the peripheral nervous system, meaning these are the subconscious or control system. Okay, next. Let's talk about nerve cell. So what is nerve cell? Nerve cell is the basic unit of nervous system and is also known as the neurons. And neuron cell body is a cell body containing nucleus. So this is what we call the nerve cell or also known as the neurons. So it, these are um, responsible for giving signals or delivering messages. So we have the basic parts of neurons. We have the dendrites. Dendrites carry impulses towards the cell body. All right. So this is the cell body. This the um, dendrites. So it will carry impulses towards the cell body. For example, sinabi niya na kasi dugtong dugtong yan. So imagine, madaming ganyan. So magsasabi na. Uh, namamalan siya na paso so siya yung magdi-deliver ng message the other one we have the axon axon carry impulses away so remember this term a a so away from the body okay palabas naman so we have what we call the nerve impulses on that nerve impulses A nerve impulse cannot jump from one neuron to another. When a nerve impulse comes to the end of an axon, it produces the chemical called the neurotransmitter. The neurotransmitter um, to be released. The chemical crosses the space between neurons are called the synapse. The, syn the synapse stimulates the the nerve impulse to start in the next dendrite so meaning on that nerve impulse the neurons are cells with a special ability to carry signals or impulses like the thoughts emotions learning and body functions are carried by nerve impulses in the neurons a nerve impulse is a combination of an electrical charge and a chemical reaction a nerve impulse is not a flow of electricity but an electrochemical signal moving along a neuron. And the nervous system is assisted by five senses organs. We have the sense, so on our eyes, ears, nose, tongue, tongue and skin. We have the sense of uh, for vision, hearing, smell, taste and touch. So these senses, sense organs are constantly receiving information from the environment and sending messages to the brain. These senses aid in the survival of human beings. A stimulus is any factor in the environment that may trigger a nerve impulse. A response is a reaction to a stimulus and a stimulus is received by the body and response is made an organism must be able to respond to stimulus in order to survive so aside from that five major senses we have another um another so we have another and this one another 21 so this is the myth humans only have five senses sight hearing smell but the fact is human have at least 22 senses uh, other senses we have the balance sense pain sense and temperature sense so that's all, all about nervous system so thank you for listening god bless you all